Hello and welcome all of my fine ass bitches to another episode of Manifest That Shit, where we release our bullfuckery and unleash our mind magic. My name is Tiana Campbell. I am a mindset, manifestation, magic, and self-love coach, and I am here doing this series to help you show yourself what the fuck life looks like when you get everything you've ever wanted. It's a fucking blast. We are going to hop right into the speed of your manifestation, but first, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. That just lets me know I'm doing a good job and you want to see more shit. Apparently, you have to hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button if you want to actually get notifications from this channel. Whatever. Weird. If you're feeling really, really nice and warm and bubbly and high vibe, go ahead and hit that like button. That really lets me know that I'm giving you the content that you want. If you are ready to work one-on-one, -on -one, you can check out the details in the description box below. While you're there, you will also find really awesome goodies like info on how to get into our VI Bitch monthly group coaching program. I say group coaching, but it's fucking $27 a month, so I don't even know if it qualifies for group coaching because it's so fucking cheap. It's awesome. You should be in there if you're into manifestation hard fucking core. You can also find the link for our free Facebook group, The Manifestation Lounge, or my free library. It's full of hypnosis audios, meditations, there's a manifestation ebook about different rituals, and there's some kind of a course in there, but I can't remember what one. If you have any mindset, manifestation, or self-love questions, go ahead and pop those into the comment section below. I fucking love making videos around the questions that you guys have. If the goal is to get you manifesting faster and easier, obviously that's the fucking way to do it. So time, speed, whatever, that shit is an illusion. But the more we focus on it, the more of it we create. And the more of it that we create inside of our manifestation. The actual act of manifestation happens instantly. It's just like that. I mean, think about it. When you get that $10,000, you get the $10,000. There's that one instant where you get that $10,000. thousandth dollar. Even if it came to you in groups of 1,000, 5,000, 2,000, 3,000, bam, there's that one moment where you hit that $10,000. There's that one moment where there's the 10,000 in your account, where you have manifested $10,000. The time in between when we set that intention and when we start manifesting it and that instant when we actually receive it is just time that we spent aligning. It wasn't time that the manifestation was being created. It wasn't time that we were manifesting. We manifested instantly. We were spending time aligning with what the fuck it is that we want. When you manifest a text from your SP, it is instant. It's not that it took them five days to fucking text you. It's not that it took your phone five days to receive the message. It's not that it was downloading for the last week. You received that message instantly. You manifested it instantly. The time that you spent in between when you decided you were going to manifest that text message and when you received the text message was simply time that you spent entertaining other manifestations like doubt, lack, worry, time. You manifested time because you didn't think it happened instantly. But the actual receiving of the text message was an instant, instant act. All manifestations are instant. They are right there, that one split second. The time in between when we set the manifestation, when we declare our intention, and when we receive it is time that we spend aligning. It's time that we spend going back and forth in our minds between is this possible? Is it not possible? Am I going to get it? Am I not going to get it? It's time that we spend 
manifesting road bumps and blockages and bullshit that's in the way of that one instant moment. We don't have to fucking worry about the speed. It always happens instantly, but everybody is like, how do I speed this up? How do I speed this up? How do I speed this up? By simply asking, how do I speed this up? You're implying that it's not here yet. When you do that, you are actually manifesting that it will take more time. You are manifesting that you are waiting. You're manifesting that it is slow. If something wasn't slow, why the fuck would you need to speed it up? You would not. You would not have to speed it up if it was instant, which it is. You just need to get into that space where you recognize, where you realize, and where you accept that manifestation is fucking instant. The only thing you have to do to speed up your manifestation is to believe that it's already done, to believe that it is created instantly, to believe that you will receive it instantly, to believe that it's yours, that you have it. It is fucking done. When you start getting into the questions of how do I make this happen? How do I make it faster? Is this going to take a long time? How long will I have to wait? How is it going to come? What's going to happen? All of those make your manifestation slow down. They bring it to a halt and it just kind of chugga, 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 chuggas as slow as it fucking can because you're manifesting this I don't have it energy. You're creating this energy and because you are so tightly aligned with it, like, right, it comes true instantly. As soon as you think, how do I speed this up? You are very aligned with the idea that you don't have it. And because you are aligned with it, you instantly manifest that it is not here yet. So if you instead spend your thoughts on ideas and beliefs like it is mine, it is done, I enjoy it, when you reject the reality around you that shows it hasn't physically appeared yet, when you do the shit that comes up, right, any kind of self-worth work, any kind of disbelief, any kind of bullshit that comes up and you decide, you know what, that's not worth my time. I'm not focusing any attention, energy, or beliefs on that because it's not beneficial to me. I don't like to believe that I'm not worthy. I don't like to believe that everyone else gets picked first. I don't like to believe that I'm destined to be poor because I got knocked up as a teenager. I don't want any of that shit. I'm letting it go. When you do the work as you go along, you bring yourself more and more into that alignment of receiving it. So instead you spend your time celebrating that this thing is already yours, that it is already done. Like, yo, I really fucking like this $10,000. I think it's dope I received $10,000. This $10,000 gets me going. I'm fucking thankful. I created something awesome. I created something awesome. I created something really fucking awesome. I can create whatever the fuck I want. And you keep your thoughts aligned in that kind of spending, believing, being, and doing as if it's already fucking done. When you're doing that, there is no question about when is it going to happen? How do I make it faster? You don't give a fuck because you know it's already done. Already done. By not acknowledging time, you speed up your manifestation. Redirecting your thoughts and rejecting your circumstances every single moment as you go along. And then boom, it just fucking falls right into your fucking lap. If you are still here, that means that you probably got something valuable from this video or your vibes are high or you are just ready to manifest the fuck out of this shit. Either way, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, click that stupid little bell thing, and then like this video so that other people can find it, so that other people can grow, and so that we can all operate on a higher level of consciousness where we all manifest the shit as our God self intentionally, all the fucking time, instantly, automatically, easily. Yes, by helping other people manifest faster, you manifest faster too. But like this video. Remember, you can find all sorts of shit in the description box below. Comment with any questions, anything you want me to cover. It was a blast spending fucking time with you. Thank you for being here. I will see you in the next fucking video. Peace out.